Even though influencers seem like they have picture perfect lives, we know better than anyone that they are the messiest bunch on the internet. And even though they might have fame and money, it doesn't mean that their picture perfect relationships are actually picture perfect. And it seems a lot of the time there is cheating and scandal behind the scenes. That is why today on the channel, we wanted to break down influencers who were actually caught cheating, whether in video or by texts, being released. But one thing I could assure you is that this is like, it's gonna be as juicy as they get. Like, you know the part of a steak when you eat it, you're like, oh, yeah. that was some nice juicy meat. That's what this is gonna be like. We're gonna just dig our teeth into that juiciness. Yeah. No, we are in the spill zone currently with all the tea we're about to spill. It's just spilling all over me right now. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mackenzie and Jared here. And today on IO, we're gonna be listing the top five influencers caught cheating on camera. But before we get into that, make sure to like and sub to the channel below. Also check out our playlist up there for more videos from us. Starting off at number five with Tristan Thompson on Khloe Kardashian. Although Tristan isn't an influencer, this one is just way too juicy not to include. I'm sure we all know by now, but third trimester Tristan earned that name from when he was caught on tape cheating on Khloe days before her giving birth. Although the cheating was exposed months later, the footage was taken at a hookah lounge in Washington DC on October 7th of 2017, when Chloe was three months pregnant at the time. And the footage is pretty bad, and it shows Tristan with two girls, one he's making out with, and the other is uh, grabbing his junk. More footage came out showing Tristan taking a different girl into his hotel room months later. So clearly this wasn't the only time that he was cheating, and he wasn't really that discreet about it either. So how did that end up happening? Are they, they're, they're still, are they? Yeah, they're super ultra on and off again. Like I they're feel literally like it always on the and off. Week. Like I feel like they're like, one yeah. day they're together, the next day they're like, Tristan's now with Jordan Woods or something. And I'm just like, what, isn't that? Yeah. Isn't I think they're back on now though. A lot of people are actually thinking that she might be pregnant because of, you know, lockdown. So, we'll learn. Wow, okay. But wasn't he at one point with Kylie's friend? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So isn't He's that, been with everyone. Isn't that weird though? Is like you're now with a guy who is with your much younger sister's best friend? I feel something for Chloe. I don't know if it's bad or... It's just weird. Just weird. Another person who recently got caught cheating on camera was Ryan Garcia. He was exposed as a cheater when a paparazzi video caught him and Malu Traveo making out outside a restaurant. After his pregnant fiance responded on social media, everything got really nasty. His fiance ended up commenting about it on her Insta story, writing that she was out visiting her family and she thought he was training for an upcoming fight. Then she sees this on Instagram and is heartbroken. After this, Malu made her own apology video saying that she knew that he had a kid, but she didn't know that he was engaged or had another baby on the way. As a last effort to save his Ryan made his own statement on Instagram, writing, just clearing some things up I've seen regarding Malu and Drea. Andrea and I aren't engaged, but we were still trying to fix our relationship. Malu and I went there as friends, and we got caught up in the moment, but there isn't anything there. I didn't intend to hurt anyone. This is my personal life, and I'm not going to speak on this ever again. I just hate this guy so much. I, I, I want to like him. Because <laughs> he's undefeated and he's a young enough he, boxer. So you know of him as a boxer? Yeah. Like he's a good boxer? Okay. Yeah, no, he's got, he's, he's good. He's undefeated. He's the champ. He's fighting, uh, oh. I think, Luke Campbell soon. So he's a big, pretty big deal? Yeah, he's like, I think he's 23 and 0 or 19 and 0. Yeah, he's good. He's a good boxer. He's like, he's yeah. up and coming. But like, I just don't like how he likes the idea of like fame. And like he hangs out with the Paul brothers a lot. He's good friends with Jake, I think. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, like him so and Jake have been talking shit to each other, but I think it's all, I think they're all good it's friends. All jokes. I think it's just a joke, yeah. Um, he so. likes that fame life, the girls. Yeah, he's getting caught up in it, it. You know? And he's not a bad looking kid. You know, he's a, you know, he's like a 19 year old boxer and he's like killing it. So I get it, it gets to your head a little bit. But dude, like you got a career ahead of you, you gotta focus on that shit. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Cause you're gonna ruin it quick. Seriously. Next up at number three, we have Lil Huddy and Nessa Barrett. Lil Huddy was exposed for being a cheater when Nessa Barrett, who was in a relationship with Josh Richards at the time, made a diss track with Bryce Hall exposing the cheating. In the music video, they show the alleged texts that were sent between the two, with one in particular showing a text that Lil Huddy sent to Nessa of his uh, nether region, let's just say that. Yo Bryce, this man just tried to DM my girl bro. He tried to sleep with her, Lil Huddy or some sh in the track, they go in depth shading Chase Hudson and saying he's only famous because of Charlie D'Amelio. And speaking of Charlie, if this did happen, Chase would have been cheating on Charlie with Nessa too. So just a whole mess. Any thoughts? I, it's TikTok. You know I don't I don't get involved yeah, in that. Yeah, they're drama. all teenagers, so it's like I get it. When I was a teenager, I had my first love too, but like I, it like it doesn't matter. <laughs> 
I, for the most part, you're with all due respect, look, she's a nice girl. I don't talk to her anymore. I haven't spoken to her in probably three, four years. Oh, so now you're talking about the girl. My girl, yeah. It's like none of this matters. You know, they're just like little kids, and it's oh. just like. Oh no, my first boyfriend. I haven't even like thought of like he's the worst. You know what I mean? So it's like I get it. They're like they're getting all upset, and it's like a big deal. And now they're celebrities, so it's even a bigger deal. But it's like, dude, who cares? Like you're good. You'll get over it. They're 16, how old are they? 15, 16, 18? Not, probably 19, 20. Probably 19. They're kid, you guys will find somebody else. There's so many people in the world. Who cares, man? Let little Huddy be little Huddy. Who cares? Like his name's little Huddy. Who? Jared is everything. <laughs> you know? But I also feel bad. I don't want to like chirp a kid, you know? Do your thing. It's like real talk with Jared. Like, yeah, you do your real thing. talk. But also, don't make your name Lil Huddy. I just think that's like, what does that even mean? Not a good one. It sounds like hoodie. Like, it's because his name's Chase Hudson. Oh, okay. Lil Huddy. So well, I get you're, it. You're not like. Point. Yeah, we're like gonna the, be over the there. Lil thing kind of ended. Like when Lil Pump became a thing, I was like, no more Lils. Let's remove him from the Lil group. We could have like Lil Kim, we could have Lil John, we could have Lil Wayne. What's this Lil Pump? Lil Huddy? This is enough. Enough. Anyways, moving on. Up next to number two, we got the Demelio family. Although the majority of influencers on this list are going to be cheating in an emotional way or physically, but in the sense of they cheated on a partner, the Demelio family cheated in a totally different manner, or I guess I should say way. While competing in Mr. Beast's Creator Games competition, in which the winners were going to be awarded $300,000 as a donation to their fans, many people accused the Demelio family of cheating for more than one reason. For starters, the teams were supposed to be pairs of two, so naturally Charlie and Dixie were a team. And then somehow they got the okay from Mr. Beast, who was organizing everything to allow their parents, Heidi and Mark, to join them as well. To no surprise, many were saying this makes things unfair for the other teams of two, as the Demelio family had double the brain power the other teams had. And it still seems the family did more than just increase their chances of winning by having a team of four. In a few tweets posted by Keemstar, including a screenshot of the family playing, you can see them on their phones with Dixie actually looking down at her mother's phone, potentially looking up answers to the questions given. Their father was also looking off screen a lot, which prompted many people to believe someone was feeding them the answers. The two sisters have since come out defending themselves, and Mr. Beast even tweeted out, I quote, I see some people mad that I let multiple people compete on a single team in the trivia tournament. Honestly, the tournament was just for fun and to bring the community together and I'd appreciate if you were to get mad at anyone, get mad at me. It was my decision, lol. Yeah, that's definitely a tough spot for Mr. Beast to yeah. get in, because I know in the chat, because this was all a live stream, yeah. everyone was like, why did the Demelius have four people, everyone else only has two or one person? So unfair. But also, what's Mr. Beast gonna do in Say that no. moment? Like, he can't do any, and they're huge creators, like, you don't wanna make them mad. Like such an asshole if he was just like, no. Yeah, all their like fans would have been coming for him, so he was in a really, He's really just, tough spot. And I think, you guys, this is such a silly thing because it's like they're trying to raise money for almost like a charity. It's like a good thing. Yeah. They're giving money to their fans. It's like, who cares? The only people that are mad are the fans. The creators don't care. They're all like, congratulations yeah. for winning. It's just well, the fans. Well, the thing is, it's just for clout too. Like the the farther you make it, the more clout you're getting by like being on Mr. Beast's channel. So I get it from that yeah. standpoint. Like they don't need the money or the clout. So it's I didn't. It was shady I get as hell. It. Uh, bigger problems in the world, you know. De you're definitely right on that. And lastly, at number one, Griffin Johnson on Dixie D'Amelio. Griffin and Dixie were the hot new TikTok couple after they both started getting very famous online. But that all changed when Griffin was exposed for cheating, and the worst part was that Dixie was the one that exposed Griffin. In the shadiest move possible, Dixie used the backtrack from a song Griffin made about their breakup. And while the song was playing, Dixie showed all the receipts. And these included tons and tons of DMs with other girls. One of the Snapchats shows Griffin clearly saying he is single, as well as others where he's talking about flying girls out to LA to see him, and he is clearly talking about hooking up with them. Then Dixie shows the super lengthy text message that he sent to her, apologizing for the cheating, with his message reading, quote, I own up to it completely and know that I have done wrong and that I have hurt you in a way that can never be forgiven or forgotten. I do want to say that regardless of anything and my actions have not reflected it, but I do care about you and this was never a game to me. I am sorry from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, no, that, that TikTok is so so good though. If you guys want some tea, watch Dixie's TikTok exposing him. It is, it's a lot of DMs. If you guys want some good TikTok tea, check out the balloon girl on TikTok. That's some serious TikTok tea. That was some drama. That, like everyone was like so invested in it, which I don't understand TikTok. I don't, I don't, I, I gotta start, I gotta get invested. I gotta get it. You do. There's, it's popping off. Like the, honestly, the new influencers are TikTokers. Like the people that are trending on YouTube now are TikTokers. TikTok. I don't know. It's just like I I'm don't just, like it, but I don't know. What it I'm is. just I'm just a bro, so that's what I am. I'm not a TikToker. I'm not a influencer. You just stay in your own lane. I'm just a bro. What's up, bro? All right, guys, that's all for the video. Let us know what you're thinking about it down below. Which one was the craziest, or were there any that we missed? But before we go, we're gonna shout out some comments from the last roundup video. Instead of sheep said, the drama just never stops, does it? Nope. 
<laughs> no. Welcome to the real Never world. Never will. It's like high school, except it's all the time. It's Angie Play says, tell me why when I say tested positive, I thought she was pregnant. Uh, the same reason why when we're trying to do a video, a train has to come through. It's probably what you hear right now. Probably not that much. But yeah, we were even, I was even just telling you how people think she's pregnant now. So, yeah. could be foreshadowing. Who knows? Yeah. April Chikinski said, I bet Jared, spell my name wrong, but it's okay, has sweatpants on with a suit, jacket, and tie. Looks like a real newscaster. I actually had jeans on. Yeah. It wasn't sweatpants, but I usually, was. Usually, show them. It's usually sweatpants. No, I'm wearing sweats and a hoodie right now. <laughs> Every day, sweats and a hoodie. Because I'm a bro. No, bros don't do that. I feel like bros wear those like long shirts that go down to here and like really. No, tight. those are like emo bros, not. No, no, that's like, not the, bro. the, like the long in the front, short in the side. Then Menda74 said, I think if she had a body double, she would never ever come back. Time for dinner, call in the double. Time for bed, hell no. Call in the double. double. Interesting. It's interesting. It, like That's when you really think comment. about it, for the president to have a body double, it makes sense. So it makes sense for the first lady yeah. to have a body double too. He for sure has one. I bet. Probably, yeah. Even actually, no, no, no. He doesn't because he needs to. He wants to be at all the events. Actually, so no, no I don't but think I mean that he more does. so in the, in the sense of like if you don't see his face or it's just like a high risk thing. I don't know. I don't right, know. For security, maybe there's like multiple cars yeah. that he's in, and there's like body doubles in a few of them. Who knows, man? Weird. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. I've been one of your hosts, Jared Bronstein. And I've been Mackenzie Smith. And we'll see you guys soon. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.